Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina at Homeschool and Grace. And today's video is another weekly update for week 18. We're like getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. So like what week are you on? <laughs> that sounded so cheesy. Um, anyways, we're definitely to week 18. I'm so happy. Like, I feel like, wow, we're like half, more than halfway through now. Like we're, we're getting there. So this is like super happy day. And I apologize last week that I didn't have a video. It was a very busy week. And then on the Friday, my third daughter ended up having to have like dental surgery. Um, and so she's totally fine, but it was like, she just had a lot of stuff that needed to get done and this was just easier. So, uh, that happened Friday and the whole week before just, I felt like I was playing catch up after the ice storm. <laughs> so, and I think that's now been two weeks ago, but you know, your brain, the brain, it just needs a minute. So I have a lot of excuses, sorry, but here we are. So we're getting it done, but I just felt very busy. <laughs> You're like, that doesn't sound very busy. My husband works with the youth in church, which is totally awesome and a blessing. Um, but he was gone on a retreat with them on the weekend and then, uh, they had youth group. And so it was just a lot of busyness. Um, but good busy. So praise God. Okay. So let's dive into the curriculum. I've got a bunch. You can see it. You guys can't see it, but I can see it. So we're going to start on this side with Rome to the Reformation for my fifth and second grader. Oh, and I wanted to pause and say, I'll, I will put timestamps for each curriculum. And then I'm going to go back through my old videos for like last year's weekly updates and put timestamps. So if you're looking for a specific curriculum, those timestamps will be there so that you can just like, oh, I just want to see the first grade curriculum. And she already did all that last year. So um, you can see that and then it'll be all there for you. So let's, let's get into the curriculum. Okay. Memory verse. Okay. So we're going to just start at the top as we always do. We start up at the top and work our way down and there you go. So here we go. Oh, and I want to also stop before I hop totally in. I'm going to go on another rabbit trail. I thank you so much for those, for you that like comment with me on uh, the comment section. Like it is such a blessing to get to know you guys more and like friendships are building, which is so awesome. Like I never thought that would happen on YouTube. Like it's just so neat to get to know you guys more. And if you can tell I'm in the Northwest, <laughs> we say guys, what, what would it be? Y'all or you all? <laughs> Um, but it's such a blessing and I just really, it makes this more of a community than just like me talking to a camera. Like I get to actually know what you guys are doing, what you're using, what's working, what's not working. And, uh, just like get to know you more. I just love it. So, uh, thank you so much for doing that and being a part of this community. Okay. Now back to the curriculum. Okay. Bible. So we're still working through first Corinthians three. Oh no, I'm sorry. 13, four through eight, the whole love curriculum. And my girls are really doing well memorizing it. I look over here. If you ever wonder why, cause like over there <laughs> is, um, where I keep our big board with the verse on it. And I'll link up here, up here. I think it's over here my homeschool room tour. If you want to see what it looks like right now, it's a mess. You thankfully just see, I cleaned it up here, but don't look over here because it's a mess. My kids. And I let them play with beans, unattended dry beans. And there are beans all over the floor. It's like, might as well make some soup. So, <laughs> okay. Back to Bible. So we're reading through our, our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, and they're doing awesome. Well, just being able to recite it, especially my second grader, like she's doing really well reading it. And some of the words are pretty big. So I'm super proud of her for that. And then I really think they're starting to memorize some. I don't do the dictation of it. We've tried in the past, but um, it just doesn't always go well. So I just don't always do the dictation. We do copy, do the handwriting copy. Um, copy work of the verses and, and then we'll discuss it. So if you're wondering like, what does she actually do with the verse? That's what we do. We, we read it every day. We 
discuss it. If it's a, you know, Monday, typically with a new verse, we'll discuss it. And we do, we copy it. So write it down. Okay. So moving on. So for uh, the rest of the Bible time, we're reading Luke uh, through Luke um, 11 and 10, <laughs> 10 and 11. And I didn't grab it, but we use the uh, DK Illustrated Bible to look at those references. I'll look and see what they were. Oh, Jesus teaching on prayer, which I think is just so good for them to learn about. And then we learned also about uh, the parable of the Good Samaritan and the home of Mary and Martha. And I think that was all that they learned about. Let's see. Oh, and Jesus and, well, our version says Beelzebub with Satan, where he explains all that. So that's where we read from the Bible. Okay. Lastly with Bible is how the Bible came to us. And we learned about the monks and the manuscripts, which, man, they were... The scribes, like, because they had a copy, they had to be so precise. That's the word I was looking for, precise. Um, and their copings and the manuscripts. And I just think it's amazing and how they did all this beautiful stuff. And then I think it was in here. We talked about, like, it might not have been here. It might have been some a different book. But they talked about the scribes and how, um, especially the monks, they would get, like, bored and, like, I need to go to the bathroom. Like, they put that in their, like... Like, you'd see it written up the side of, like, the really fancy, like, Bible pages. Or, like, they just found a lot of really interesting stuff. And um, I just thought that was really cool to learn about. Let's see. Okay, so that was Bible. On to English. Okay, so English from the roots up. So going with scribe, we've learned scribo or scriptum. And that medieval monasteries had a scriptorium. So, and you'll see this also ties into history. Again, it's this beautiful, like, flow of learning on one topic, which I really appreciate. Um, so, scribo or scriptum was to write, and then they also learned ad, which I can't remember. Okay, ad was to, toward, near, next to. Oh, that was fun. So, with ad, there's so many words, like pages and pages in the dictionary with add as the uh, root word and so we got out the dictionary and we looked at actually how many pages was in our dictionary of add so it was kind of fun to look to see like how much it's actually used it's pretty amazing so we did that okay next okay i'm gonna spelling we're doing the same thing still spelling power rod and staff both going well i enjoy both the curriculums and we're not changing anything okay english the same Language lessons for today, going great, the end. <laughs> okay, history. So they were leaving, learning about the medieval monasteries and writing books. So we were using the story of the world. So maybe that was um, in here about the monks. I bet it was in here. Um, so that was really fun. Oh, then I got, um, so it, one of the activities was to grow a herb garden. So I got, I'll link it below, like I found on Amazon a little like, so this cute little tin herb garden thing, so they can plant, uh, it came with three different plants. It was, um, I think basil, cilantro, parsley, maybe? No, I can't remember. Anyways, there was a third one. But it's really cute, and that was kind of our, to be like the monks and growing their herb gardens, so. Okay, so also, I wanted to share, so there's portions in the teacher's manual for, especially this book, Streams of Civilization, that call for advanced or uh, all ages. I, we just read it, either advanced or not. Um, I haven't found that it's inappropriate. Uh, she might not always catch everything that we're reading, but I don't really care. Like, for her in second grade, my younger one, it's just the practice of sitting and listening while we read. And then uh, if she can remember anything, then, like, that's a bonus. Um, but I don't necessarily expect full retention in second grade and or the fifth grade. Like, as long as they catch little bites... That's all I'm really looking for. Um, so yeah, so Streams of Civilization, they were learning about Scandinavia and the Norsemen, and they learned about Eric the Red and the Vikings we just started learning about, which they're really enjoying. So we watched, um, we watched Brave, the Disney movie, um, for the Norsemen and everything. Well, they were like Norman. So, um, yeah, Norsemen, Norman, um, 
So that was kind of fun to add in. You know, if you're, there's some spiritual aspects, some witchcraft, people changing into animals. So if, you know, if you're not into your kids watching that, I totally get it. Um, I, I told my husband I ruined Disney movies for my children because I'm like, do we turn into bears? Can we? No. Okay. Do you, if you see little blue lights, don't follow them. Like, just don't. Like, it, it leads to a witch probably. So just don't do it. <laughs> I just, I ruined Disney movies. So it was still fun to watch, but, um, again, I ruined them. And it was really funny because we were telling my husband, so there was a portion of the movie where the big bad bear comes and he's got all these like spears in his back and, and like arrows. And my kids like to watch farm vet shows like Dr. Pole and stuff. If you don't know what that is, there's a like incredible Dr. Pole where he's a farm vet. Anyways, my oldest goes, I think, I think that's a big abscess on his back. I think he's so grumpy because he needs that abscess dealt with. <laughs> Only my children would, would like see big spears in the bear's back and think abscess and not like, oh, he's so tough and mean that he's got spears in his back. I just thought it was funny. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we also did the medieval world and I'm really liking this one because typically now we just do like one page, maybe two, and the maps are really nice and clear and the pictures. So we enjoy this one. So yeah, that's been fun to read. And then, okay, so then we did this, can you see it? The ruined stones with runes, runes, which was interesting because this was in the movie. We saw these in Brave. So um, there was, they had um, stones like this in it. Anyways, we did not make them. It, the option was to like make your own cookie dough. We didn't do that. But we looked at that page. <laughs> that counts for anything. Okay, also for the student sheets. Okay, we did the monks uh, scribing, and then we did, uh, they did a Viking one, the Vikings raid, uh, the Vikings sailed in boats, and they wore some of the, oh, they were some of the first people to go to the North, to North America. So that was an interesting fact, fun fact for them. Okay. And still working through their timeline. Okay, so that was history. And then like their notebooking, uh, book baskets. I don't think we had, oh yes. So we finished up, uh, I'll skip ahead a little, the door in the wall. I really enjoyed that one. And we also started the whipping boy, which is in the book basket. This is a really fun book and it's a nice quick read and the chapters are short. I always appreciate a short chapter. Uh, I feel like I really accomplished something when I'm reading to them. Um, so it's a nice one for like uh, meal time because the chapters are so short. Um, you could actually like read one chapter and like be able to eat with everyone quickly. So that's kind of a fun one. I also wanted to share uh, read alouds. We have been reading this one, my ABC Bible verses, Hiding God's Word in Little Hearts. This is a really neat uh, devotional. I uh, She's very biblical in her devotion. And then the girls are really memorizing the verses, which I really am excited about. And so uh, this is a really fun one if you are looking for an easy. I mean, it's a little young for like my fifth grader, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, what's next? Science. We, all we did was read from this one. First Encyclopedia of the Human Body. And really this week was like a final wrap up review of their big bodies. And we didn't finish it yet because we still have to do, I think like the urinary tract sec, um, system. And we have not done that part, part yet. And so um, this is all we got to. And then also next week we start the wonderful way babies are made. So all I'm supposed to do is read it. I'll let you know my thoughts on it. <laughs> but I don't know. We might skip it. We might use it. I might just use it for my oldest and skip it with my younger. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, so for math. Okay. So my second grader finished up Singapore 1B and she did really well. 
And I'm going to have a follow-up video on math, but we're actually switching her to Matthew C., like my older daughter, just to keep, like, the... I like them now both just on the same curriculum. It makes it easier. So, you know, they both do language lessons for today. They'll both be doing Matthew C. Next year, they'll both be doing spelling power. Like, there'll be this ease that, like, they're just doing the same thing, and I'm not, like, having different curriculums. So we also did God and the History of Art, but only one of the days. We didn't get through it all. Um, they learned about designing fanciful letters, and that's it. So there you go. I think I got through that in pretty good timing. So that was it for my fifth and second grader, Rome to the Reformation. Okay, moving on to God's creation from A to Z, kindergarten. Okay, so um, if you saw my last uh, weekly update, she wasn't part of it because it was the Christmas unit, but now we are back to regular, regularly scheduled program. So week 18 was horse week, so we learned about horses. Okay, so I'll start out with sharing the books. So Fritz and the Beautiful Horses we read. I love this book. It's really good. I mean, Jan Brett is always good. Her artwork, you just wonder how long does it take her to draw and paint these like she's just an amazing artist okay then we did god's amazing world about horses and learning about horses and being obedient i obey right away was the uh, main like biblical concept that she was learning about and See here, children obey your parents and everything for this pleases the Lord. So that was the main verse topic. And then we read, I'm sorry, we didn't read this one. I planned to and we didn't get to it. But every cowgirl needs a horse. It's a really cute one. She really wants a horse, but she doesn't have one. And her parents get her a bike. But she, like, calls it a horse. It's really cute. And then also we read another book about horses. Oh, what was it called? Anyways, it's a cute one. I couldn't, I'll link it below, but I, I couldn't find it while I was searching for all our books. I kind of got put back into the bookshelf, I think, and now I can't find it. Okay, so for the student sheets, she did this cute one of like, she had to follow the directions. It was like a thinking challenge about placing the horses in the correct place, uh, which I always am like impressed when kids can do this kind of stuff. I'm always thinking like, would I be confused? I don't know. Um, so that was a fun one. And then she did this. Oh, there's nothing on the back of that one. And her letters. And doing all this. So I'm trying to be much more diligent about making sure she's making her letters correctly. I feel like with my older two, I get kind of, I don't know if lazy is the right word. Could have been lazy. Or uh, just didn't think it was that important. Like they'd figure it out. Well, they're still struggling some because I didn't teach them properly. So I'm trying to really make sure that we're practicing doing them correctly. Um, and then she's still working through this, her uh, blend ladder. <laughs> what is this called? Blend ladder. And then this was we, while well, we read it and I'll show close. So if she's struggling, I'll underline the first two letters like, uh, uh, and then we'll connect it. Um, so to help her read them, that's how I was helping her with that. Uh, let's see here. So we were supposed to make a clay horse. We didn't do that. We were supposed to make a shape horse. I'm not even sure what that was. Oh, I do remember what that was. You like cut out certain squares and then they make a horse with it. I did that with my first or the last time I taught kindergarten. I didn't do it this time. But we did do like the classifying animals and we did the thinking skills and then just read through the Bible. And they've got a lot of great uh, horse books that you can add from the library. I have found, I found the world on Instagram of like used children's books. And it's a new problem for me. <laughs> I've ordered so many books. But like we keep getting book mail and it's super fun. So I just, I love it. Okay, I wanted to show one more thing that's here. Okay, I've got these little horse magnets. Um, so these were really fun for her to use, and I, I found this little tin box so she can stick them right in there, or I use a big whiteboard and she can play with them. But there's a ton of them, like these Melissa and Doug. These are just fun. Little addition, 
Not necessary, but just fun. But it tells all the horses' names, or like the breeds, so you can find all the ones and all that, so that's kind of fun. Okay, let me see. I think that was it. That was really short today, but she learned about obeying right away. And we sang trust and obey for there's no other way. I feel like that was so short, but that was it. It was kind of a short week. So there you go. Let me know if you'd be interested still in seeing my preschoolers with this stuff. I'm still teaching her, but I, I thought it might be easier to start just doing unit updates for hers instead of like the weekly updates. So she's to week 23, I think. I think next week I'll have another, I should have another weekly update or unit update for hers if you were interested in that. All right. <laughs> okay, so God's creation from A to Z, and I'm super excited. My My Father's World curriculum ships, so it's gonna be here soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to see um, my unboxing video for that. I'm super excited to get all the new curriculum. It's gonna be super fun. And if you like this video, here are some other ones to go and check out, and I hope to see you at the next video. All right, thanks, bye-bye.